Hello so friends, my name is Zelda and you are watching Zelda Sews. And today I am reviewing with you the first outfit that I made for my granddaughter and it's using simplicity pattern number 1570. And here it is up close. I chose to do view C and I thought this was a great little pattern to start with. I It looked pretty simple. It had um, a number of choices for sleeves and I just wanted to do a basic sleeve that you just fold it up twice and, and hem it and that was an option, short sleeve. It had another one that had some it looks like elastic that you would put around the end and you also had long sleeve options to do the same thing with the sleeve the shorts were just the basic shorts and i used this material right here and this is it and it's a Snuggle, super snuggle fabric. It's like a flannel-like material. So I made the shirt and the shorts. And it was not too bad to do. This was my first time going back using a pattern. And for the top piece, it took five pieces. So you had the front, the back the pocket and that was optional but i thought it was cute to put that on there number three let me see that is the pocket number two i have that back number four five sleeve yeah so it's five five pieces to put the top together and one piece cut um, cut two for the pants and a, a strip of elastic I believe that was all other than one uh, snap that I chose to put on here. I think it gave you the option for notions. Yeah, it said three, one half hook and loop tape dots for three snaps. I ended up just using the one snap and I probably could put another snap on here, but that was the first time me using a snap. So I just did the one and that was the sleeve. This right here, uh, this fold over, that was very new for me. I, when I cut it out, it's like a large section that's open and I'm going, how do, you, how do you close this? What do you do? And then I said, oh, let me look at the pictures. And the pictures were very helpful. Let me see if I can find that uh, picture here. Because I didn't understand what it meant for me to do. Oh, okay. Let me see. Number 12. See the... the large opening there I did not know that you would take it and put it over it and then stitch it and once I figured that out I was home free I knew what I was doing I thought this came together very easily I like the choices I'm going to make another one and I have enough material left to make the nightgown. I like that you have the different choices of the long sleeve, long pant options, and short, and a robe. So, oh, actually, that's a gown. And then here's the robe, the robe. So you do have a lot of choices in this one. I made size six for her because the measurements that I went by, I was looking at the body measurements. Luckily, her body measurements are very similar to the finished garment measurements. So, I mean, it was a little bit higher. But I uh, 
it turned out great. It fit her perfectly. And I know you've seen that already on her, but I may pop a picture up in here so that you can see it again. I am very, I think the directions were completely clear. And for somebody who is doing this, it says, I don't know if it says like easy or anything like that. No. No. But I would say this was easy because I, I got it finished and I didn't destroy the fabric. <laughs> oh, goodness. I have everything in my plastic bag and this is how I hold them. I don't know any other way to do it, so I just do it this way. But yeah, that was it. This was a great pattern. My granddaughter loves it. I love it, and I look forward to making more for her. Thanks so much for watching. God bless you, and I will see you in the comments, and you'll see me on my next video. Happy sewing!